guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me as always. So today we're going to be doing a full review on the Sabre Trio Vectra. So I've had it for around about a month now. I'm really getting to grips with uh, Crystal Focus 10 or CFX as some of us call it. Uh, that soundboard, one I've never really used before. I haven't had a CF soundboard since, oh God, Crystal Focus 4, I think. Which was way, way, way back. A long, long time ago. Uh, when I was in the community the first time around before I left. Um, so really, really excited to see what this can do. So here she is here, absolutely stunning piece. Cost around about 600 US dollars, which was I think 415 pounds over here in the UK, plus a further 90 pounds in uh, customs charges import tax. So just be aware guys, these do come from a company which is based in Malaysia, Sabre Trio renowned has probably been the best a uh, custom Sabre company on the planet right now and they really deserve uh, that title. Just with the, the sheer effort, the work that goes into their, their Sabres, uh, the transparency of the company as well, they are forever updating everyone on multiple social media platforms as to what's going on with the company. They've suffered a little bit recently, uh, in, recent, in recent times rather, uh, with COVID. Malaysia has been really hit quite badly over the last 18 months with COVID various lockdowns, very tight restrictions. And these guys have continued to work like champions uh, throughout the whole the whole thing, whether being in the office with certain rules in place or from their own homes, uh, which just goes to show you the level of dedication that Sabre Trio and their staff really have um, towards their customers. So enough of me talking, guys. You know what it's all about now. We'll head down to the table cam. We'll have a little look over the Sabre, some of the kind of main features and kind of what I like about the Sabre personally. Uh, then we'll kind of come back up. We'll take it for a little spin, see what it can do. Uh, I've had, like I said, about a month now to kind of really get to grips with the Crystal Focus 10 soundboard in terms of some of its features. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll do a little demo when we come back as well. So let's head over and have a look at the Sabre Trio Vectra. Okay, so we have the Sabre here. Lovely, lovely piece. Very well made and machined by Sabre Trio. We've got the uh, brush silver finish with the brush silver. Covertech clip here. We went for the black leather wrap and for one of the reactor style blade plugs just to uh, protect the NeoPixel connections when it's not in use. So you can remove the pommel at the bottom. To access your chassis and your CFX board, you've got your micro USB port connection here, and your SD card's just located under here. It's just a push in to release and push in to reseat. Your recharge port and your battery under here, as well as your 28 millimeter base speaker. Now, I do believe that Sabre Trio have now started to replace the uh, 28 millimeters with 22s or 24s. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, um, but just a word of warning, they are doing that now. So it will no longer be a 28 millimeter base speaker that you receive, at least for the foreseeable future. It's gonna be a 20, I think it's a 24 or 22. I think it's a 22. That's what I received. One thing I do like about this chassis setup is if you actually take a look at the bottom, if I get this to focus, there we go, of the, the chassis here, and take a look at the bottom of the, the pommel, this actually screws in and secures the chassis into place. So we tighten that all the way down, no rattle, absolutely nothing, no rattle at all, perfect. One of the features I do like very, very much uh, with CFX, with Sabre Trio, is uh, this one right here. So I need to put it up first. A Mandalorian and a Jedi, they'll never see it coming. So that's our boot sound. But more specifically, it's when you remove the blade plug or the blade and, and reinstall one. So this is your single screw right here. You're going to hear a little sound in a second when the pressure comes off this. You hear that? 
So that's to indicate that our NeoPixel blade plug has been detached. If we reinsert it, you get a little uh, confirmation sound that the, the pins have met the board on the bottom of that uh, blade plug. Very, very nice touch. So as you can probably see, we don't have any fancy illuminated uh, NeoPixel PCB. Just a straight up connection. The light is actually, the B pixels are in here. And these ignite. So overall, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's absolutely solid. Um, I wouldn't go dropping it from three feet though. Yeah, overall, very, very nice. You've got your two buttons, your your uh, main button, your auxiliary button on the back here. You've got your clip. We've got our leather wrap. We've got our blade plug, obviously, which we uh, selected. They don't come included. They are an extra. They're quite cheap. I think they're about 30 bucks or they're around. One of the main things with this though, guys, it really is convenience. Convenience of charging, literally just plugging it in, letting it charge. It comes with a charger. If you haven't seen my unboxing, I'll put a, a link up somewhere for that. It comes with a charger for it. You literally just take the pommel off like I showed you earlier on, plug it straight in. Easy access to your soundboard so you can add fonts and blade styles and uh, all that good stuff. It just performs really, really well. So why don't we head back up top? We'll put a blade in. We'll give it a, a proper demonstration, a proper going through and uh, see what we can really do with it. So like I said before, um, I really do love the machining of this. It's absolutely solid, and I mean it's solid. It's got a really good weight to it. Um, the work that goes into these is just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, they don't just do the Vectra, they have, oh God, I don't even know how many models they have. Is it eight they have at the moment, eight models? Uh, 8 to 10 I think it is they have. Uh, I believe they've got some newer models coming soon-ish. As to when that will be, I don't know. I do know that they will be reopening on Black Friday, which is November 26th. So if you do want to try and get your hands on something like this, that is the date to put in your calendar. Uh, overall, I've not been disappointed with it at all, to be fair. Um, and I didn't think I would be, to be honest. First and foremost, let's talk about the customer service. Uh, well, you know, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll put it up here somewhere for you guys. i talk a little bit about, about that there. But to be honest, I didn't have to contact them at all. I knew what I was entering into. These are custom made from scratch. They, took, they do take up to 16 weeks to uh, be manufactured, shipped and delivered. Mine took five, so I was very, very lucky indeed uh, to have this within five weeks of, of, uh, of ordering it especially with the uh, conditions that these guys have been working in. In the kind of much more recent times, I believe they were still working from home when I placed my order, so um, very, very, very lucky to have gotten this when I did. I wasn't expecting to get this through until probably around about December time. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's solid. Um, it's so comfy. It looks beautiful. The installation is flawless. Um, I can't really say much more about it, guys. It's just for me, it's ideal, it's perfect. It's very, very well weighted. It's very, very well balanced. And one thing I'll say as well, their NeoPixel blades, it comes with a NeoPixel blade, by the way, this is a 32 inch that I got, but you do get to choose um, what kind of size of blade you want. They're so light, they're so light. Some people, you may have a NeoPixel saber at home, go and grab that one of your, one of your blades and feel the weight of it if it's, maybe an LGT or something like that. The blade's quite heavy. These blades are super, super light and they're sanded as well. Why do we sand them? Well, they sand them because the light is diffused far better um, from the inside with the, the pixels and it makes it seem a lot, a lot brighter. Um, the other thing I like about this, which is a massive plus, is going to be the speaker. So there's nothing at the bottom here, it's just, that's the speaker right there. And that is the resonance. The resonance of this, the, the sound quality, it's so crisp, it's so clear. Um, it's loud as well, guys, it's very loud. But there's no crackling, there's nothing, there's no interference, there's no static, there's, it's just 
crisp, clear sound. But I do believe you get 22 sound faults as standard. Sound selection. Great. Sister, exit message. Trio. Saber Trio. This is the Saber Trio sound font, which I love this. It's really, really nice. It's very reminiscent of, uh, I believe, Half Lex by k -Seth. Smooth swings, just perfect. Accent swings, he's swinging a lot harder as well. You're forced lightning if you hold down the auxiliary button. And that sound you can hear, guys, it's just so crisp. That hum, that idle, the swings, everything is just so crisp. Let's have a little. Sound bank selection. I believe they're all K-Seth ones, Light, Balance and Darkness. Vengeance. Vengeance. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Hoth. Shadow Point. This is General Kenobi. Crystal Focus. Granny. This one as well. So you can change the, uh, the colour and blade styles while the sabre is on. Hold down the auxiliary button and just twist it. Spectrum. This takes into spectrum. Just twist the sabre all the way around its axis and you'll just access pretty much the full RGB spectrum. Once you've found a colour, press it once to lock it in. Or if you want to change the blade style, Spectrum. You'll hold down the aux rather than pressing it. Blade profiles. This will take you into blade profiles and you can add blade profiles as well. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video on adding sound fonts and blade profiles uh, in the near future. So almost like a flame. No, oh, where are we going? There we go. Your rainbow blade. That round robin's back to the start again. And again, just press the auxiliary button just to lock that in. So now we've got a new colour. Very, very nice. Let's demo one more. Sound bank selection. Young second sister. We have to do it, guys. Second sister. This second, Kyberphonic and Kesa. Going somewhere. If you don't know by now, probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite, sound font. Uh, it's just so dark and grungy and dirty. It's absolutely stunning. And it sounds amazing with this speaker. Oh, so good. Just so good. That hum. Swing. Your accent swings, it's just everything sounds amazing on this saber on this with the speaker. If you've got a sound font, you think it sounds awesome on something else, I guarantee you it's gonna sound so much better on this.
absolutely love it. So there we have it folks, that was the Vectra from Sabre Trio with CFX installed. Um, my thoughts on this, it's just absolutely outstanding. I love the hilt. Uh, you guys chose this. You chose this. I didn't choose this. I put a poll up on Instagram, some of you might remember. You guys chose this, so thank you so much for uh, for choosing the Vectra. I absolutely love the, everything about it. Everything about it. Still learning CFX, but it's a great soundboard, um, and I'm really enjoying the process of learning everything to do with that. It's a very versatile soundboard as well. Not only do you get smooth swing, you get the ability to add different blade styles, and that's what changed the blade style on the Sabre itself. So. If you've got a sound font which you've installed and you're not quite happy with the blade style, you can change that style. You can add more as well. So I'm going to have a tutorial on all of that coming up very, very soon. So keep your eyes out for that one. In terms of the overall build quality, everything down to the, the, the last final kind of finest detail uh, is perfect about this. The weight is amazing. It's got a lovely choke point for spinning. Uh, it's so comfortable. The, the sound is crisp and crystal clear. The hilt itself machined to perfection. Uh, the chassis, solid. Everything about it, you know, it's just, for me, one of the best yet. Uh, and I cannot wait to do more business with Sabre Trio in the near future. Uh, maybe not on Black Friday. I think I maybe might be done for the year. But uh, definitely next year for sure. Cannot wait to see what else uh, I might kind of come up with next from them. So, Kyber score time. You know how we like to do it in this channel, guys. We give every single Sabre a Kyber score. What's this one going to be? This, guys, is going to be a 9 out of 10. Nothing gets a 10 in this channel, but we're going to give it 9 crystals out of 10. The thing is perfect, in my opinion. It is perfectly weighted. There's nothing loose. There's no, no shaking, no rattling. The sound is amazing, crystal clear. The blade is perfect. Perfectly weighted, very, very light. Um, the operation, everything down from having that, you know, that two button set up, massive plus. Um, being able to add sound fonts very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Um, you've got software available as well, which again, I'll go over with the tutorial when I do that soon. Um, soon? Soon, rather. Um, it's just, for me, it's perfect. You know, it is perfect, but it's not a perfect 10 because the perfect 10 doesn't exist. So, 9 out of 10, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Definitely let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you've had any experiences with Sabre Trio in the past, again, get involved in the comments down below, guys, and then let us all know. Remember to like the video. I want to aim for, what will we go for? 150 likes in this video? Let's do 150 in this. If we get this video to 150 likes, I'll do the CFX tutorial. Surely that's not gonna be difficult, surely not. Remember to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all in the next one. May the force be with you and goodbye.